All sorts of people are starting to toss the ball a lot higher. Usually you're taught to hit it right at the peak. Gigi got the high volley at the end and really did a lot with it. Hit it with more authority, more pace. Gigi, you see, moving over, moving in, always trying to be aggressive. Boom. Puts that one away. Tay, you, you see some great Gino. shot making in doubles. And they're, they're, they're really the norm, not the exception. I mean, you see so many of them. Gigi with a great get, the ball clearly behind her, got around it. But that last shot by Savchenko Nealon was so instinctive. You asked me that before. She was hitting it about a foot or two away from the net. She just knew to move in. A lot of times, baseliners, when they play doubles, they just don't feel that comfortable moving around at the net. But it's something that you can work on, can learn and improve. And that really tells a lot about Gigi's style. She can make absolutely brilliant shots, and then on an apparently easy overhead, easy looking, she puts it wide. You're exactly right. In the 1990 U.S. Open with Martina Navratilova. One of two U.S. Open doubles titles. Yeah. With Robin White. So 30 all. Gigi looking for a different ball. You want to get the one that's, I guess you would call it the skinniest. You don't want that felt all puffed up because you want it to go through the air as fast as it can. You want those skinny light balls. Forty thirty now. <laughs> we expected this match to be close to service breaks thus far. But we are on serve at two all and deuce. So it's going to be who can be the most consistent and the most aggressive at the same time. Making those first volleys, making the other players play as much as they can to make the shots. Yeah. Yeah. A little late on that return. Trying to hit the off angle on the backhand side. It's a very tough shot to hit. Different play here. Zvereva right in the middle, challenging them. Oh! Gigi likes to do that a lot. She did that with Mary Jo during the Olympics. Make your partners or make your opponents guess where you're going to run. Deuce. And back we go to Deuce. I think Gigi sort of caught no man's land there, right at her feet. Now, what, what goes on during the conferences? Well, right now, it's amazing, but uh, they're complaining about that second serve. They thought that second serve was long, and I actually thought it was long as well, but heck, they won the point. Why not move on? I guess they want to make their point. Advantage to Vatna. Good low return. Didn't hit it with a lot of pace, but it was the placement that was so important. And that backhand slice, she kept the racket head out in front. So this is where Gigi wants to get a deep second serve in. She's moving over, you see, trying to get that angle, trying to get it to Novotna's backhand. And it's... Because last time when she served her a forehand, she just about got 
got handcuffed while it was right down at her feet. So Gigi saves the break point. Back we go to Deuce. Zvereva right in the middle again. Advantage in Vatna. And another break. We see Savchenko egg Novotna on, say, come on, let's go. She had a pretty good volley there. Big punch. Second break opportunity now. Five games, three service breaks. Hey, I'm Vane. This many break points, you would think that it was about time for set point. And another break opportunity. Again, Novotna moving forward, aggressive. They, they just make it look so easy, Bill. I know playing doubles, it's not that easy. They always seem to be in the right place at the right time. Anticipation is so good. Back we go to Deuce. A little conference here, taking a little extra time. It's important them to try to hold this serve. They're going to try the Australian formation again. And that <laughs> looked like it was going to be a little longer than it was. It was just barely out. Now, I would think in that crouch position that uh, it, it would be tough. You have to get up and then react. Uh, well, she doesn't want to stand up because she's getting hit in the head. I want to wait. So the it's ball a better failed. choice. <laughs> I'll tell you, game. that point Fernandez and game Graeva. was one on nice adjustment there by Gigi Fernandez. As they save two Fernandez great points, 5-4 in the first. National Tennis Center, Flushing Meadows, Corona Park, on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. 30 30 love. Love. Women's doubles final, Yana Novotna, Larissa Sevchenko, Nealon, Gigi Fernandez, and Natalia Zareva. Just why? So Gigi needing to come up with a big return here. They have to break to stay in this set. Peter Moore on the left. Gigi Fernandez's coach. And on his left, Julie Anthony, a former tour player, sports psychologist. Oh. Really helped Gigi so much on the mental side. Helped her to calm down, become more focused, more disciplined. 40, Gigi is a, is a tremendous player, great ability, but she also can be extremely volatile at times. Five all. Asks for everyone to get their seats. Yana Novotna serving to try to send this to tie break. Hit. Oh. <laughs> lingers at the net to apologize the shot love 15 is there an ideal game for doubles into serve and volley type oh definitely 
definitely an ideal game would be the serve and volley type with the great return because in doubles the serve and the return are just so key so important Martina Navratilova is always so impressive because she was number one in doubles as well as in singles. It's long. Of course, Arancha Sanchez Vicario ranked number two in doubles in the world. Number five in singles. That's that's very good, and she plays singles, doubles, and mix. She plays a lot of tennis the Grand Slams. That time the overhead goes into the net. You don't see that really all that often anymore among the top players. Certainly McEnroe did it while you mentioned Martina. And Stefan Edberg. Stefan Edberg was number one in the world in doubles in 1986. And of course last year he was number one all but 12 weeks. 12 weeks that Boris Becker was number one. 30 it's kind of interesting. Today, apparently, if Pete Sampras wins, he can take over the number one ranking. If Stefan Edberg wins, he can take that over. Courier also had an opportunity to retain number one, but the winner of the men's final today will be the number one player in the world, so there will be a new number one in any event. That time, Gigi can't quite get there. Now that was the poach there, the poach when you go from your side of the court trying to take over your partners. But because you're at the net, you have an advantage. You can put the ball away easier, play more aggressive up there. go to Deuce and we should mention that uh, Pete Sampras I don't know if you remember this Tracy but at the end of the match when they went to the net to shake hands Courier said what's wrong and Pete suffering from dehydration the sun was very intense yesterday here at the National Tennis Center but we're told he's all right and should be fine for the final today We're talking about other players playing doubles as well as singles. The only players ever to be number one in both Martina Navratilova and John McEnroe. At the same At time. At the same time, right. Okay, well, well, we're going to a tie break at six all. I guess there wouldn't be any other score to go to it. Very close match. Things have settled in after all the service breaks early. And Gigi Fernandez will serve. was looking like she was going to poach then it's the last second held up Savchenko couldn't adjust quick enough <laughs> that time the fight was waiting for it Right at the net. So close to the net. Some of these points have been so tough. It must be great to get a, something served up like that. 2-1. Zareva now to serve. And 
And that time from the baseline, the bottom sends it back to the net. Zareva doesn't try to go for the big pace on her first serve. She's just kicking it in, trying to get in close to the net. Trying to get in as quick as she can. That's effective. So look where she hit that first volley. She was about three feet inside the service line. Whereas a lot of times the other players are right on the service line, so they're getting shots right down low at their feet. Of course, the tiebreak format, first to seven. Win by a margin of two. Change sides. We have a rare backhand air. That's her bread and butter right there. Tried for tried to dip it down too low. This is early in the day, final Sunday of the open. Those stands will be filled. People still coming in. Early stages of this match. And of course, the men's final. Later today, scheduled for a start at 4 o'clock Eastern time. Oh. <laughs> Get your attention. A little bit late. Well, she goes for that backhand angle. That one was a little late the other day in, her, in their semifinal match. Uh, Natalia's Vareva hit Gigi right in the back. Gigi had a little drama, fell down on the ground. <laughs> Long conversation now. Novotny and Savchenko Neeland. Choosing to stay in the back. Guess Gigi liked that. Yeah, she gets, <laughs> she gets into it. There are the tiebreak records. Novotna Savchenko nine, Nealon, nine and two. Yeah. i tell you, for intensity, I think Gigi is going to will this tiebreak. Five right in the body. Jammed her. Again, that placement is so important. Of course, Rava is put pressure on him. Double fault. And that is the third double fault. Gives them two set points. So Zareva and Fernandez. Win the first set, 7-6. Back to the open on USA in a moment. In the Wimbledon final earlier this summer. Fernandez and Zareva winning. The first set was close, 6-4. But the second set, 6-1. Love 15. Three points away. That's why. Really, this would be the game to do it. Larissa Sevchenko Neeland has struggled with her serve throughout the match.
Oh, yeah. Gigi with the volley right in the middle and the low five. 15-30 now. Yana Novotna, ranked number 11 in the world in singles. Number one in the world in doubles. No chance there. 15-40. Double match point. G.G. Fernandez and the Tyas are the 1992 U.S. Open Women's Doubles Champions. Three Grand Slam doubles titles for those two, those two in 1992. Back to the Open in a moment. The Lifetime, the 92 U.S. Open home video. The memories are too good to see only once. Order now to receive the 92 U.S. Open home video at a special pre-release price. Just call 1-800-428-9921. Straight sets. The Women's Doubles Championship here on USA. And now let's go down on the court to Tracy Austin. Tracy? Thanks, Bill. Ladies and gentlemen, Give him a big round of applause for this great double final. And now, to present the runner-up, the, the prize money check is Charles Phillips, president of Maxwell House Coffee Company. Thank you, Tracy. Give me great pleasure on behalf of Fast General Food USA to present the final check to Larissa and Yana. And the sum of ninety-two thousand dollars. Um, I just would like to take this opportunity to congratulate, of course, Gigi and uh, Natalia for uh, winning the title. I've been coming here for many years. This is my third final. I didn't make it again, but uh, uh, I just like to say thanks to my coach. Thanks to my friends and of course the family Covell for a great support throughout the years. And uh, I'd like to thank Hillary Stuff for playing. And I just want to let you know that we love to play here and we'll be back next year. Thanks. And on behalf of Capio Ice Cappuccino, I'd like to present the final set, the winner's set to Gigi and Natalia in the sum of $184,000. Um, first of all, I'd, I'd like to um, congratulate Lisa and um, the the finals. Um, it's, the women's doubles is getting very even and um, you know, any team can win on any given week, and I think today was a great final. Uh, I'd also like to like um, my partner, Natasha, for playing with me, and all our supporters in the box back there, also Kraft for sponsoring um, the women's tour all year round. And this is weird because there's a delay on the... <laughs> when you see it takes about three seconds for it to come out, so... It's kind of weird, but anyway, thanks for coming out. We appreciate your support and hope to see you next year. Uh, thanks, Gigi, for a um, great partnership. Um, thanks. Uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate Leverson and Gigi. Leverson and Yana to um, make it to the finals. Uh, I think it's been a uh, uh, kind of a nervous match, but I'm very glad we got through, all right? And uh, I'd like to thank my coach, um, our sports in the box, uh, Craft Genesis, who's sponsoring the tour, and everybody that um, came out here and was a great job of math. Thanks a lot. Congratulations.
And now to present the championship trophy, Bob Kirkson, President of the United States Tennis Association and Chairman of the U.S. Open. Thank you, Grace, very much. And I want to thank all of you for coming out during this U.S. Open. And I think we had a great one. And certainly we have two great double champions. And my pleasure, on behalf of the United States Tennis Association, to award the 1992 U.S. Women's Double Championship to Fernandez and Zareva.
23 years ago when Margaret Court beat Billie Jean King in straight sets, two sets. But, oh, there were no tiebreakers then. 2-0-3, they battled today. And Jan a point away from a 5-1 lead in this final set. Now has seen Steffi Groff take the last four games. And her coach, Hannah Monlikova, hopes she can pull herself together and perform as she did throughout the second set and early in this third. She's serving now to stay in the championship. 4-5. Well, I please thank you.